dear students and welcome back to school i'm very excited because i'm going to teach you technology my name is mr hassan gabriz we are going to learn about computer and how to use them to do and practice a lot of things together like microsoft office word excel and powerpoint let's get ready and start our first lesson today for this semester as you can see our first lesson is Microsoft Word. In this lesson, we are going to cover Microsoft Office window overview. We are going to know how to create and save a document. And at last, we are going to talk or I'm going to show you a sample about a completed block letter. Okay, let's have a quick overview of the Word window. Don't panic, you're gonna see a lot of information over here. I don't want you to memorize them all. I just need you to keep in mind the words in purple. For example, here we have a quick access bar. This is the quick access bar. It has a save button, undo and redo. Here we have the tabs. See here, it's called tabs. Here we have the home tab insert tab design tab here we have the title bar it's the name or it displays the name of the open file if you go over here you're gonna see the ribbon all these are inside a ribbon ribbon we go down over here we're gonna see the insertion point this one's called insertion point the gray ones over here are called margins. They are called margins. Here we have something called groups. This one, for example, it's called a paragraph group. See here, it's called groups. Here we have the status bar. This one's called status bar. And finally, here we have something called the paragraph mark. You see this? P opposite P, it's called the paragraph mark. It indicates the end of the paragraph and it's only visible if the non-printing characters are turned on. Non-printing characters appear on the screen but not on the printed page. So if we print this document, we are not gonna see this opposite P. Okay guys, do you still remember the non-printing character? This button is to show or hide the non-printing characters. This one is the display option of the ribbon. This one to minimize the page. This one to maximize the page. And this one is to close the page. Here is to sign in into your account in Office. Sign in link. Here is the scroll bar. To go down and up here is the zooming magnifier to make the page bigger or smaller and here are the view buttons that allow you to change the way of the document is displayed and by default the print layout view is pressed on the middle one by default this is how to start word to start Word, can you see this window? Okay. When we start the Word, we have to choose an option. We can choose a blank presentation or document, or we can choose any preset document or style. To start Word, display the window start screen, then click on the Word 2013 or 2016. It's up to you or what you have on your computer. And at the beginning, we have to click on the black document, blank document. If you look at the page over here, you can see the list of recently opened document might appear here. If you open a recent document or it, it, it will show you the last open document here to click to open a new blank document, as I told you before, list of Available templates may differ. It depends on the version of your word. Okay, guys, 
Now we need to choose the touch mode. What is touch mode? It will give us an extra space around the buttons on the ribbon, allow us to use our fingers to tap the specific button we need. I'm going to talk about the non-printing characters. Non-printing characters provide a visual representation of details you might otherwise miss, such as the opposite P, paragraph, or the dot, means space. To verify that non-printing characters are displayed, on the ribbon, click on Home tab, we need to click on the home tab as I showed you before. Then the show hide the opposite P, which is which represent the non-printing character button in the paragraph group should be highlighted in blue, indicating that it is selected. Okay, now it's time for us to save our document. How to do this? On the quick access toolbar, click the save button. Do you remember the save button that I showed you earlier? If not, don't worry. We're going to see all of these when we go back to school in the computer lab. Click on computer if necessary, and then click the browse button. For example, if you see over here, see this picture over here? Here we have the return button. Here we have the save, and here we have the save as, okay? Don't worry, it's so easy. Navigate to the desired location. If we want to save it on C drive or D, then click the file name box and then type your file name over the default name, document one. Do you remember the file name from the previous slide that I talked about? At the end, click on the save button and then our file is saved. At the end, I'm going to show you a completed block style letter, how to do a blocked style letter. This is a sample. Here we have the date. We always start with the date. Then the address. This is the address. Then the salutation, like Dear Sonia, and the body, what we need to write in. At the end, complimentary clothes, sincerely yours. Then the signature and the title line. Who did this? The name of the one who did this letter, then the typist initial. The last thing is indicate the letter has something accompanying it. If we have, for example, um, sending another envelope with it, there should be enclosure. And these are the entire letter aligned along the left margin. Okay, we are going to talk about alignment when we do our next, next lesson. This concludes our lesson today. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Can't wait to meet you in class and practice everything in our technology lab at school. Stay safe, and God bless you.